Thank you and welcome. Thank you for joining me once again. We are going to talk about the fast that God has chosen. Let us pray. Abba Father, I want to thank you for this time, a special time with those that you have had to come to view this video by no coincidence, Father, and I thank you. I pray that you would use my weakness and all that I am in the flesh, but that the spirit would rise and that would words would fall on fertile ground and spring forth to everlasting life. And to you alone, Father, thrice holy God, be the glory. For it's in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. You have confirmation in many things in life, but the best way that you can have confirmation is in the body of Christ. What do I mean by that? And perhaps you've experienced this if you're seeking God. Perhaps you've been studying in the book of John and you were studying being born again and looking for assurance for your faith, making sure that you are saved and not deceived and by reading John chapter 3, with the colloquy between our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and Nicodemus, the Holy Spirit instructs you and enlightens you. And then, all of a sudden, you go to church on Sunday. And you don't tell anybody what you've learned in John chapter 3, but the Spirit reveals this to you. And there it is. The pastor is preaching and teaching on John chapter 3. And the things that he is saying in the Spirit bring forth confirmation and you're like, I was just reading that. And here it is four days later on Sunday in church in the message. Confirmation is coming forth. I say that to say this. Perhaps you've been fasting in a way that God has chosen and you've come to this video. I don't know how God is going to instruct you or lead you, but I'm believing that he's going to help you to go into a fast that he has chosen. What do I mean by a fast that he has chosen? Well, there are people right now, presently, as I do this video, who are fasting physically. Because fasting has many benefits for physical health. When you fast, say you just go on a water fast, because it's very hard to go on a fast and not drink any water. When I fast, especially at my age, I'm 62 years old, I fast with water because there were times where I fasted without water, for quite a long period of time where I thought I was going to die, but you have to be in good physical health somewhat to do that. But when you read in the New Testament, when God gave the apostles the power to cast out demons, they ran into a problem with a little boy where the little boy was convulsing, convulsing, and he couldn't rely on the apostles. The apostles couldn't cast out that demon. And the apostles went to our Lord and Savior and Jesus Christ and asked him why they couldn't do that. And he told them, this come not but by prayer and fasting. Prayer and fasting. Perhaps you're in a place now where God has set you apart. Perhaps you're with your parents. Perhaps you're with Christian friend. You've been brought out of the place where you were. And now I call it the safe haven. There is a place where God brings his people where you first find yourself lonely. The loneliness kicks in first. And sometimes it feels like you're going to go out of your mind. You're so alone. 
but you must stay there. Because this is a place that God set you apart for sanctification. Sanctification is God's will for the Christian, for my life, and for the body of Christ. He's purifying us. He's sanctifying us. He's preparing us for heaven. Eternal paradise. A place where there's not going to be any sin. No sorrow. No depression. No quarreling. No arguments. No fighting. It's going to be a place of eternal bliss. So the fast that God has chosen is that he gives you a desire to draw near to him. And we see that in the book of James where God says, draw near to me and I will draw near to you. But what better place to do that when you're alone, a place that where he has brought you? Wherever you find yourself now and you feel so lonely, so alone, I bring you good news, my friends. God brought you there. And you're not alone. He's within you, in Christ. And he was, he's without you. And he promises never to leave you or forsake you. You might not feel his presence. You might not understand fully that he's with you. Because sometimes we're led into darkness and we have no light. It feels like our prayers are just hitting the ceiling and going nowhere. But God hears you, Christian brother, Christian sister, young ones. He promises never to leave you nor forsake you. But a fast that God has chosen, when you first go into that fast, your flesh is going to be screaming bloody murder. Because in 2023, we live in an age of fast gratification. We can go on the internet and we can find gratification for our flesh in many different evil ways. Pornography. We can watch evil movies in the click of a mouse. We can order food to our door with the click of a mouse. We're living in an age where we can feed our flesh running over instantly, quickly. But to say no to this flesh. Christian, we must decrease in the flesh so that Christ will increase. We have two beats that beat within our chest. One is evil, one is great. The one we love, the one we hate. But it's the one that we feed is the one that dominates. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. And when you go into this fast and dive in with all you have and go into a fast that God has chosen, do not tell anyone. I reiterate, do not tell anyone. Because as you go into that fast, you're going to see, if you're around people, they're going to say, Paul, aren't you eating? Paul, you need to eat. Now, no other time when you were around them, when you weren't eating, did they want you to eat. But now that you're fasting, ah, the devil knows when you're going into that fast. Notice our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, when his ministry first began, what did he do? He went and fasted 40 days and 40 nights. And during that fast, Satan came to him. 
but our Lord had the victory. Brothers and sisters, I pray and hope that you came to this video because you are going into a fast that God has chosen and prayerfully ask God to bring you into that fast. Let him know that in the flesh, in all your weakness, you cannot do it alone, but surrender your whole being unto him and he will bring you into that fast. And when you come out of that fast and you see the benefits, not only physically, but spiritually, you are going to want to fast on a regular weekly basis. Folks, you may have a loved one in prison as you're watching this video. You may have a wife who's on the streets prostituting and addicted to heroin and crack cocaine. You may go, you may be going through an event that there seems like no way can God intervene. But through your fasting and praying in the spirit, she could be free he could be free. Your son or daughter could be free from heroin, from crack cocaine, from alcoholism. Whatever the sin, whatever the vice, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ could set them free and use you as a conduit of his grace, as an instrument of his righteousness to make that happen. And we are the church militant. We are God's soldiers fighting in the army, the Salvation Army. And we already have the victory, brothers and sisters. Can you taste the victory? It's there. Now go into a fast that he has chosen. And may our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ make your light so shine that others will see the good works that he wrote in you and give our Father in heaven all the glory. Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Shalom.